This recording will show you how to handle limits at x goes to minus infinity for an expression involving radicals. We are given a problem limits of x goes to minus infinity 3x squared plus x plus 1 over cube root of x power 6 plus 8x cubed plus 27. The Howard Anton has a similar example in section 1.3, example 8. However, they have square root. I'm going to use a similar approach, but because our question will be easier since we're having a cube root now. So let's look at the question here. Now, if you imagine when x become very large, what will happen on the numerator? Let's take a quick look first. Now, when x goes to minus infinity, 3x squared plus x plus 1 behave like behave like 3x squared, x cubed plus 8x cubed plus 27 behave like x power 6. Right? This, this is as my symbol of behave like. So in the end, the expression will behave like 3x squared over cube root of x power 6. We know that cube root of x power 6 is x power 6 one third power one third is 3x squared x squared and that will be 3 that means the whole thing when x goes to minus infinity you should expect the answer to be 3 so this is what I'm going to do now I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by x squared because the numerator behave like 3x squared, the denominator also behave like x squared. So I'm going to divide the both numerator and denominator by x squared. Okay, cube root of x6 plus 8x cubed plus 27 over x squared. This looks like a very complicated expression here. Now, the reason why I want to divide by x squared is to eliminate infinity. Let's see how I eliminate infinity here. The reason is because we don't want to have infinity over infinity because if you let your x goes to minus infinity, the top will be at uh, infinity. Bottom will be also the infinity, right? So we want to avoid this infinity over infinity. So I'll divide everything by x squared first. And this will be limit of x goes to minus infinity, 3x squared over x squared plus x over x squared plus 1 over x squared. And then the numerator, I'm going to pull the x squared into the cube root now. So this is cube root of x power 6 plus 8x cubed plus 27 over x squared. Now, x squared is the cube root of x power 6, right? Because x power 6 is the cube root of x squared. So I have changed this x squared to cube root of x power 6. Now, why I want to do this? Because then I can combine the cube root together. Okay, I want to combine the cube root together, and this will be equal to limit of x goes to a minus infinity. The numerator becomes 3 x squared over x squared is 3, x over x squared is 1 over x, and 1 over x squared, and denominator is cube root of x power 6 plus 8x cubed. Plus 27 over x power 6, which you can simplify again. The mean of x goes to minus infinity 3 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. The cube root of 
split up the sum x power 6 over x power 6 8 x cubed over x power 6 plus 27 over x power 6 and continue to split up as b5 and continue to be 5 3 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x square over cube root of 1 plus 8 over x cube plus 27 over x power 6 and now you let x goes to minus infinity what happened when x goes to minus infinity notice that when x goes to minus infinity, what do you expect of limit of 1 over x? You expect this to be 0 since x will be very very large, negative number. Also, you expect x goes to minus infinity, 1 over x squared goes to 0. And similarly, you expect x goes to minus infinity, 8 over x cubed goes to 0. And you expect limit of x goes to minus infinity, 27 over x power 6 also goes to 0. So all these terms, when x goes to minus infinity, they all go to 0. So eventually, the limit of this becomes 3 plus 0 plus 0 over cube root of 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is... 3 over 1 and that is 3. This is how you evaluate the limit of this expression.